Hello, Coding Cutie. We meet again. Today, we're going to be going over anything and everything related to learning data science. As always, check out the juicy, juicy links in the description. Everything I talked about will be linked there. And while you're at it, throw me a like and subscribe to give me a healthy dose of serotonin. Thank you. I'll be breaking the video down into what you need to learn, resources for self-study, so courses, books, etc. And finally, how your learning method, degrees, or lack thereof can affect your employment. So without further ado, let's get ready to ramble. Long story short, there are five things that you need to learn how to do before you can go off and call yourself a data scientist. One, you need to learn how to write code using a scripting language like Python or R. I prefer and recommend Python for its versatility and wider industry use. Two, you need to learn SQL, SQL, structured query language, to learn how to extract data from and load it into databases. Three, you need to study statistics to learn how to work with the data in a statistically sound way. Or you need to study machine learning to know how to build cool buzzwordy stuff using the data. Five, you need to put it all together through practice and application, i.e. building your own data science pipelines and completing projects. Lucky for you, I go through how to learn all of these things in my other videos. So if you're new here, oh my God, hi, welcome to the party, but also, check out the videos. I made it super easy for you. I linked them in the description and I also added timestamps so you can skip some of my less useful chit chat. So you are welcome. I'll leave a little blurb summary here of all of the statistics and machine learning concepts that you need to learn as a little refresher in case you need it. So now that you know what to learn, how do you learn it? Lucky for you, data science is super doable to learn through self-study, thanks to the plethora of resources available to you via the interwebs. Websites, courses, books, forums, blog posts, videos. The world is your oyster. I know it can be overwhelming to choose your learning resource. Which course should I use? Which book should I read? So I'm not gonna hit you with a million resources, but I will leave some of my favorite ones in the description. Hopefully that helps you narrow it down. Another thing I wanna say to ease your anxiety, hopefully, it doesn't matter if you learn through a course, through a book, or through just scrapping together information through various sources from the web. It really doesn't matter. As long as you learn all five of the things I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you're good to go. It just depends how you learn best. Try one learning method. If it doesn't work out, try another. That being said, I do wanna highlight some of my personal favorite learning resources to help you decide what may be best for you. So let's go. If you like books, there are two that I will recommend. Being a natural born lazy person, I'm not much of a book learner myself. I prefer to just sit at my keyboard for hours trying to figure something out the brute force way and then crying later. I would rather do that than spend five minutes reading a passage. But there are two books that I've read for data science. These are the only two books that I've read um, in my data science career on the topic. And I haven't even read them cover to cover. I just kind of use them as reference material and took what I needed from them. The practical one is Data Science from Scratch, First Principles with Python by Joel Gruss. The second edition came out in late 2019. It's a super popular choice for the data science community. And it even comes with a GitHub repository that has code for all of the references made in the book. So both are linked in the description below. You can check those out. The second one is called Deep Learning by Ian Goodfellow and some other machine learning royalty. This one is super math heavy. Fair warning, quite a bit of linear algebra in there. It really helped solidify my understanding of machine learning concepts that I thought I understood before, like regularization. It just goes through all of those heavy math details to give you a solid understanding foundationally of what's going on behind the scenes of machine learning algorithms and techniques. I highly recommend you check it out. This level of understanding is necessary for many data science roles. It's linked in the description below. There's a free ebook version online. All right, next we have data science online courses. So I actually haven't personally taken any data science online courses, so I can't personally recommend any through my own experience. 
However, I have taken several other technical courses on the platform Udemy, and let me tell you, I am obsessed. I love this platform. The courses are all super affordable and they're always having sales. So you can get beautifully rich courses for like under 20 bucks to steal. The courses have really engaging professors or instructors. They go through both the theory and the practical components. They usually have a project involved within the course. So it's a great way to get projects on your resume just by doing one of these courses. And you also have full access to the professors slash instructors and also the community of people taking the course. It's just great. It's such a great way to learn if you want a structured approach. So I highly recommend you check out a Udemy course. Just search data science courses on Udemy and um, read the reviews and find the one that seems like the best fit for you based on what you want to learn. I will also say that Andrew NG's uh, machine learning course on Coursera. Hands down the most popular machine learning course out there. It's widely respected and known in the community. So that's another great option if you want an online course. In terms of websites that you need on your roster as a data scientist, you already know what I'm gonna say, Kaggle.com. It's my number one. I mention it in pretty much every video and yet I'm still not sponsored. If someone can do something about that, please hit me up. This is the site you need to get your practical data science hands-on experience start working with data, start solving problems, learn from other people how they've solved the problems, they share their code, what more can I say? Go check it out. Other amazing websites that I frequently visit are Towards Data Science for the blog posts, thought leadership, project descriptions, and technical explanations. I also do a lot of my learning by following some brilliant data science influencers, mostly on LinkedIn. My two favorites on LinkedIn are Cassie Kozarkov, queen of data science, and Eric Weber. And of course, there is no shortage of amazing data science content on YouTube, but you already know that, don't you? While self-study is a popular choice for learning data science, we know that it's not the only way to learn. A lot of data scientists have acquired their knowledge and qualifications through formal education, i.e. university degrees. Do you need a degree? Does it have to be in computer science or stats? Do you need grad school? What grad school should you take? I get questions on this topic all the time, so I want to give you my thoughts. Full transparency, no sugarcoating, because you're sweet enough. Since there is no requirement or standardized designation to obtain this qualification, it tends to be extremely unclear what kind of education path is ideal for a data science career. Data scientists typically tend to have technical academic backgrounds. This means one or more degrees in areas like math, computer science, engineering, or physics. In the past few years, there's also been a major increase in professional data science and data analytics graduate programs. So do you need these fancy degrees to be a data scientist? No, but it definitely helps. Not because these data science degrees are the best way to learn. I personally think you could find equally good, if not better education online, but because getting a degree like this gives you a certain brand and network. In my opinion, these are the biggest benefits to dishing out the time and the money to obtain a formalized education. Being a graduate of some program gives you a certain reputation that's important for a subset of employers. It also gives you a network of alumni that you can probably sweet talk into networking with you because you both share that common ground of the having the same institution that you paid thousands of dollars to. The degrees that include co-op programs introduce you directly to the employers. If you're going to sign up for any kind of degree and you haven't already, please, I beg you, sign up for one with a co-op program. The opportunity to gain actual work experience while you're a university student is the most valuable part of any degree. At least it was for me. Now this is completely anecdotal, but I do know a ton of people who graduated with co-op programs and internships under their belt as a student, and a ton of people who didn't. And 100% of the time, it was the people that had some kind of experience as a student that ended up finding jobs a lot easier after university. And they also had a much better idea of what kind of job they wanted to do because they had that time to experiment while they were a student 
without having to tie themselves down to something right after school. You can find internships as a university student without being enrolled in a co-op program, but the co-op program offers perks that makes it a bit easier. And these are often in the form of direct relationships or agreements with employers and also networking events where they'll bring the employers to the school so you can meet with them and talk to them directly. I actually kind of cheated here. I wasn't enrolled in a co-op program myself, but I went to a university that invested heavily in it. So I kind of got to reap the benefits of attending these networking events and meeting these employers without actually being in the co-op program myself. And I was also around students that were hustling to get co-op jobs all the time. So it made me want to do the same. So to sum up this section, long story short, when you enroll in a formal degree program, the reputation and connections are what you're paying for. So should you go to grad school if you want to be a data scientist? Again, it's not necessary and it depends on your goals. You're looking at a data scientist who did not go to grad school and I'm not the only example of a bachelor degree data scientist out there. I've personally met a ton during my time in the industry and a lot of them didn't even have technical degrees. However, I will say that it's definitely helpful to have some kind of additional specialized data science education for certain roles and employers. For example, if you're trying to land a job at a FANG company, it would be pretty tough to do so without grad school or without some other kind of really unique accomplishment that makes you stick out unless you have great connections to, to get your foot in the door. Overall, my advice here is don't do grad school just because you think you need it to land the job that you think you want. It's extremely expensive in terms of both time and money, so this isn't a good enough reason to, to make those sacrifices. You should do grad school if you're genuinely passionate about further studying this topic that, that interests you. If you really want to get a formal education and continue learning in that academic environment about this topic, then do grad school. Now, okay, let's say that you are, you do want to continue learning about data science in this formal way. What kind of grad school do you choose? My answer is the same. Pick the one that you're passionate about. If you're trying to land a specific role, do some research to see what kind of preferences that role usually has, whether it's a more research oriented or business oriented slash practical set of qualifications that they're looking for. In my what is a data scientist video, I talk about the different types of data scientists and the backgrounds that they typically have, so check that video out if you want to learn more about this. If the idea of going to grad school for a data science related discipline isn't exciting to you at all, and the only thing you're excited about is landing a cool data science job and getting to work right away, I would say don't do it. I don't think it's worth spending the time, money, and energy on an extra degree. Just try, try to find a cool job right away. If you give it your best shot to find a job and you fail, then you can always go back to grad school later. It's not going anywhere. Now, what is it like trying to break into data science with no degree at all? I'll be honest, I haven't personally met any data scientists that don't have some kind of university degree or college diploma, but that isn't to say it isn't possible. Real talk though, it will pose a challenge if you don't have that stamp of approval from some academic institution behind you when you're trying to get a data science job. There will be biased employers who will immediately discount you if you don't have this multi-thousand dollar fancy piece of paper hung up on your wall. But as time goes on and as alternative data science education paths become more prevalent, I do strongly believe that there will be an increase in hiring managers who don't care as much how you learned what you know, but more about what skills you can actually bring to the table. So as long as you build up your knowledge and can demonstrate it through tangible evidence such as projects, then you should be able to find a data science job. I recently read an incredible blog post that discusses this topic. So if you're interested to learn more about breaking into data science with no degree, please check it out. It's linked in the description below. As always, if there's something else you wanna see me blab about, let me know below. And while you're at it, throw me a like or a subscribe if you haven't already. There's an alarming number of you who aren't subscribed. So please get on that. I mean, if you want whatever. I don't care. I appreciate you tuning in today. I will catch you in the comments or in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.